Hello, this is the CRT Productions, this is a YouTube video, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you what the heck this thing is right here. Well, I'll show you right now. It's the Easy Capture, Capture, Capture and Diet, high quality video and audio. And despite the funny Chinese English, uh, this is a very handy device to have if you like to put, oh where is it, these things onto your computer. Now you've probably seen it places like Walmart, Target, uh, and I believe Staples has these usually. You'll see these little devices like this for, oh, what, $50, $60, $70, and um, you always wonder, are they really worth that money? No, they aren't, because you can get this for $8 on eBay. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, it works fine. The proof is in the pudding, of course. And uh, this, I'll take this opportunity to plug my other channel, Ray Combs, where I've uploaded tons of videos of old VHS tapes using this very device right here. So why don't we go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. This comes in this little plastic thing here. On the back, it's got a lot of stuff that I've never read before and don't plan to anytime soon. Open it up and it pops right out. That's the device itself. We'll get to that. It comes with a little USB uh, extension cable, which isn't necessary, but it might be for you. Um, it isn't necessary for the operation, though. Uh, down here it says uh, a lot of stuff. It says right here, um, support Brighton C, as you can see right there, Brighton C, very advanced technology for, um, uh, what, 2006 when this came out? Who knows? Um, I like that in the picture it even shows an older ThinkPad laptop being used. It also comes with this little, um, uh, the, the manual, you know how that stuff goes, with these kinds of things. And one thing that can be a little troubling is this this guy right here, little mini CD, which include which um, has the software that you have to use for this thing. It has its own special little software that you have to install, and uh, I'll explain to you now why that might be a problem. All right, so if you're doing this, you probably want to use a laptop. Um, it's not necessary. It'll work with anything that has a USB port, but. Um, laptop you can bring to your VCR, which is also required by the way, that should be pretty obvious. You can't stick a VHS tape into, uh, let's see, this thing right here. Nope, not quite going to work. But anyway, the deal with the CD is that it's one of these little mini CDs, which I absolutely hate. But as you can see, you will need a CD drive that, uh, works like this. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it'll work with a tray style CD player that doesn't have the little thing that holds it in, but I recommend having that. Most laptops have that, so it shouldn't be a problem, but just be aware of that. Speaking of the program that's on that CD, I have it right here. Um, I find that it's compatible with just about anything. Uh, including Windows XP and Windows 10, so um, and in everything in between. I have actually tested that, by the way. Um, but I cannot speak for Apple operating systems, Macs, whatever you want to call them. So just uh, just so you know, when you get the software installed, um, you'll have to type in the little. There's a little uh, number on it. Here, mine is. And da, da, that right there, um, you have to type in that little number. And uh, the first thing you'll want to be able, be sure to do is to go here and set quality to best, of course. And you want to set it to format DVD. And basically what that means is that it will record it in 480p rather than 240p. We don't want any more 240p um, VHS recordings on YouTube, all right? So be sure to set it to one of these DVD settings. And I believe WMV is also a 240p setting. Stick to DVD. I find that it uh, works. And uh, yeah. And everything we need to get this going is, of course, a VHS tape. 
a VCR, uh, a laptop, something to install the software on, some of these ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise cables here, and your easy cap device, which if we pull this little cap off, which isn't so easy to do, easy cap, um, there's the USB. Again, it does come with a little USB extension cable. Um, that's not necessary for what I'm doing, though, so I'm not going to be using it. Let's see how it works. Alright, so the main reason I'm making this video is because of some of the quirks to using this thing. It can be a little funny to use at times. But anyway, I have this plugged up to the VCR back there. Of course, it's color-coordinated, not too difficult. This also records S-Video, but I'm not going to be testing that because nobody uses S-Video. Um, and also that only records video and not audio. Just be aware of that. So, the first quirk that you'll discover is that you have to plug it in to your computer before you launch the program. So, I'll do that now. There's the program. While that's loading, we'll come down here to my VCR. We'll want to power that on. And I have it set up there properly. Um, if you don't see anything come up, you should see some static. It might be a little weird like this, but you should see something besides a black screen. Um, you might even see a blue screen if that's set up. I've just realized that my VCR doesn't have a blue screen button, so... Ooh, this one does, though. Just kidding. So if we insert the VHS tape here, I said if we insert the VHS tape here, we'll realize that there's already a VHS tape in there. So, what is that anyway? I don't know what that is. Let's find out. Play it here. Um, and we'll see if I have it set up properly. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, good. What in the world? Oh yeah, I remember what this is. This is some weird movie somebody recorded onto a VHS tape and it's extremely low quality. This isn't the fault of the VCR or the recording uh, device there. This is just a really, really low quality VHS tape. Stephen King's The Stand, so that's what this is. Alright, I've never watched that before. Maybe I'll watch it sometime. Not. Uh, anyway, just realized that it's become better quality. Look at this. As it plays, it's kind of sharpening up, and then it reverted back to bad quality. If you begin playing your tape and nothing happens, you might have to press the VCR TV button. With this one, uh, nothing happens when I do that, so it's all good. But uh, if you don't play around with your VCR, press some buttons, and uh, it should pop up eventually, unless your VCR doesn't work, I guess. Uh, having a working VCR is an important step. If you're wondering about audio, yes, it does pick up the audio. But we don't want to listen to that because of copyright reasons. I wonder if this video will get copyright claimed because of this. You know, I hope not, because I've had lots of problems with that in the past. Stephen King, I'd just like to say, um, I'm just using your movie for illustrative purposes of the Easy Cap device there. Um, please do not copyright strike me. So to record something, it goes without saying, you click the record button there. And it'll start recording it. And uh, to stop it, guess what? Oh, we come down right here and press the stop button. Now I'll insert that video into this video so you can see what the quality is like, even though this isn't a great, this isn't a very great test of that. But hey, why wait? When you can go over to my other channel, Ray Combs, and see any video that I uploaded in 2018 or 19, which was all, uh, all those videos were recorded with the AZ Cap device.
Another cool thing you can do, of course, is if you have an old style camcorder like this one. The good old Canon there. You can, of course, plug it into that. And just make yourself a nice old fashioned little movie here. What's up, guys? Today I'm here to show you my new computer setup, as you can see here. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got, uh, it's got one of these little, uh, little things here. You got a it got an Intel in it. That's pretty cool. Um, and as you, as you can see, it's got a got a screen here, as you can see right there. Yeah. And uh, cool thing about this laptop is uh, you can shut it. You can shut it right there, and then you can open it back up. It doesn't even go off. Trying to get that nice boomer shot. How do they do that? And the, the Facebook profile picture here. All right, I've got my got my Facebook profile pictures for the next week right there. Anyway, what am I doing? 